Welcome to our next video. We're talking about measures of central tendency. We're talking about the harmonic mean. Harmonic mean is defined as this. n divided by a special sum. Let's take a look at an example. You have 300 euros per month that you can buy shares with. You have three different months. In the first one, you buy shares for 9 euros a piece, then you buy the shares for 11 euros per share, and then 4 euros per share. Which means that in the first month, you can buy 33.3 shares this first month. In the second one, in the second month, buying 11 euros per share, you get 27 shares and a fraction. You get 27.27 27 shares in the second month because you could earn, you could buy a share for 11 euros. And in the fourth, in the third, in the third month, when you have to only pay 4 euros, you get 75 shares. Which means all in all, in total, you get 135.6 shares. So, if you if you pay 900 euros, because you pay three times 300 euros, which means uh, you, you have 900 euros spent on shares, which means you spend 900 euros on 135 shares, meaning that per share you have 6 euros, 6 euros point 64. 6 euros point 64 euros per share is the average price per share. It's the average price per share. So this was as we could possibly do it. It's the first way. The second way is just using the harmonic mean. The harmonic mean. We have three prices. x1 is this price, 9 euros. x2 is this price. x3 is this price. So we have to calculate a, an average value between 9, 11 and 4. Between 4 and 11 there is an average value that we need to calculate and the answer is sure already it's going to be 6.64. So 3 divided by 1 divided by 9 plus 1 divided by 12, uh, 11 and plus 1 divided by 4 because 4 was the last price here. This gives us no wonder, six dollars, six euros, and sixty-four euro cents. So that's a second way of calculating here the harmonic mean. Thank you for watching.